All right, Dave in Texas uh, here with this video. I'm going to try to show a friend of mine in Spain uh, how to take care of some problems he's having with his guitar. All right now, he bought son of a gun. This camera's a pain. He bought a uh, Epiphone Les Paul copy, and he bought uh, one of the uh, uh, better ones. I think he pays somewhere near eight hundred dollars for that guitar, so it has to be uh, you know at least one of the better wood, better electronics than the really dirt cheap ones for like a hundred, two hundred dollars. And he tells me he's got a lemon. He got he got from the uh, from England, brand new from the shop. Okay, so they can get them cheaper there in England. They can't buy them actually in Spain, according to him. And uh, he. Uh, um, <clears throat> thinks he got sold a lemon. I said, well, why do you think it's a lemon? He said, well, because I, I'll tune it, you know, like on the fifth fret, you know, just use his ear to tune it. Uh, and uh, he'll be playing it and he'll go out of tune. Or he, he'll play a chord and it'll be out of tune. And he'll go back and tune it again. I said, well, does it go out of tune immediately? Or is it like never in tune? I said, you know, tune it up on the fifth fret, if you don't have a tuner, just tune it, tune it on the fifth fret, which he does, and uh, say, play a D chord. Does it sound like it's in tune? No, it doesn't. So well, that's very simple. Your guitar is not set up properly for, the, it, it, for its intonation, which basically means that these saddles uh, that he has on this uh, Les Paul copy, right, have not been adjusted up and down to where uh, the tuning of his guitar on the fifth fret corresponds to the uh, uh, intonation on the twelfth fret of his guitar. That makes sense. Now, the whole trick of this is to to first of all buy an electric tuner, you know, because you can't do this by ear. It's just damned impossible. Now, I've got the cheapest one I could find to demonstrate. You don't need to spend a ton of money and buy an oscilloscope to do this. I can just do this upside down with the camera. Now, what I've done with this guitar, well, first of all, make sure that your guitar, the volumes are up on the guitar because if you don't, it won't work. If, it, if your guitar if it's turned off and there's no volume, the tuner won't work, believe it or not. Now, uh, hit that open E string. Now, I've purposely over-tuned the E string, and I've also put new strings on this guitar, as well as a new bridge, or actually a, 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 a old uh, tunematic bridge that I had laying around, uh, which I've gotten rid of years ago, but I should have just thrown it away. Anyway, um, to, to emulate or, or simulate what he's going through. Now, hit the open E. You'll see I've over-tuned uh, it, okay? And I'm going to tune it down. You see it coming down until it's in green, green. Up a little. And that's pretty much, pretty much there. Anyway, hit harmonic on the 12th, it's out, but push down on it. And it's in okay so it's not only in on the open note or close to it it still needs some adjustment like I said these are new strings they'll, they'll need to be you know stretched and unstretched so that intonation is proper now on the the high uh, end of the guitar on the uh, B I changed the intonation of it so you got the B it's in tune now hit the 12th fret harmonic, if you can hear that, you just barely hear it, All right? And then push down that 12th fret, and you can see it's not in that green anymore, it's, it's just above it. So it needs to be adjusted. Now to adjust that, and you get it back in proper intonation, and this damn camera to sit still. Holy cow. Come on, Cam, let's move the guitar then. To get back in proper intonation, I've got to adjust this saddle 
all right this piece of metal here with this screw okay with this screw here and as you can see it's all the way down all right it's all the way up against that back of that bridge and there's no more adjustment left to it so what has to take place is that saddle's got to be flipped so it looks like one of these saddles pointing the other direction okay that's the only way this can be done and I know it's a pain in the butt but that's the best way to do it flip the saddle the other direction and then start making adjustments with the turn with the uh, turning screw on it uh, it may take you a couple of hours to get the intonation for all six strings in properly but once it's done that guitar is going to play like a million bucks uh, the tuning on it will stay in tune uh, pretty much just as long uh, as you're playing it but you know obviously guitar it does go out of tune uh, new strings they will stretch and uh, they've got to be adjusted so it might take a, a week of playing to find this guitar you play it for a while uh, you know two three hours you tune it set it down uh, you walk off come back pick it up and the next day it's still in tune all right but always check the tune on your guitars if you're playing it and making you know just for fun and kicks and giggles uh, because it sounds better obviously and the uh, strings do make movements now on your strings I recommend this brand here okay I think these are really nice strings and uh, try the different gauges try the 10 12s 11s and see what not only feels good for you but uh, also what sounds best on your guitar so you know, any fret buzz um, and when you buy a set of strings don't buy one set buy like a dozen of them because they don't last forever a month of heavy playing is a good life cycle for a set of strings and then it's time to toss those things away and nothing sounds better on a guitar uh, than a brand new set of strings especially on like an acoustic guitar all right so Dave in Texas any questions give me a holler uh, remember, uh, buy that little electric tuner. Ten bucks is not too much to spend to, you know, not drive yourself crazy and uh, to prove to yourself you didn't buy a lemon. Get rid of this bridge. Buy you a, a bridge that will fit this guitar uh, that has rollers on it instead of these saddles. So it's so much easier to adjust and there's no buzz issues, there's no retainer clip issues, or none of that crap. And get the kind that locks back down, right? Uh, 20 30 bucks for that type of bridge uh, at least here in the states that's what it cost and uh, then go to town all right so again if you have any questions Dave in Texas I'm here uh, give me a holler and have a good one I hope that helps you with your guitar problem bye